And more on health. We're still focusing on infertility on medical notes. It's the inability to conceive after one year of having regular unprotected sexual intercourse. And when we say regular intercourse, we mean that the couple must be having sexual intercourse at least three to four times a week. And there's a reason for this. We have primary infertility and secondary infertility. When we say primary infertility, it means that between that couple, they have never achieved any pregnancy before. Secondary infertility means that they have ever achieved a pregnancy before, but now the pregnancy is not coming. Before pregnancy can occur, five things must be operating or must be in order before a woman can conceive. The first thing is that the sperm that is ejaculated in the vagina must be normal. There are certain parameters that we look for. Okay, so that is the contribution of the father to the child. Once the sperms are released into the vagina, they start swimming to the uterus. So the uterus is also another factor that you have to look at. Okay, when the pregnancy is not happening. Now, the sperms, they don't stop in the, the womb or the uterus. The sperms continue to move into the tubes. In fact, the tubes, which are two, attached to the uterus is where the actual pregnancy takes place. So the tubes are very, very critical. So the third factor is the tubes. The tubes must be opened and functioning well. If the tubes are blocked, there's no way the sperm and the egg can meet. So the pregnancy cannot come about. So the third condition is the tubes. The fourth one is that the woman's contribution to the child is from the eggs that she's releasing every month. So the woman must also be releasing eggs every month in order for her to, to get pregnant. If the woman is not releasing eggs, and some woman don't release eggs, then even if everything is normal, she cannot get pregnant because her contribution to the child is not there. The fifth condition is that they must, have, they must, they must be having regular intercourse. Now the reason why regular intercourse is important is that when the egg is released from the ovaries of the woman where the eggs are stored, the egg must be fertilized or the, the, the sperm must enter the egg within 24 hours. It doesn't meet any sperm, it will spoil. So you have to wait for another month for a new egg to release. And that is why it is so important to have regular intercourse so that the moment the egg comes out, there's a sperm available to fertilize it.